This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Bats versus Wall. You all have been together for several years. You're building your relationship, but allegations of cheating are interfering with your building this relationship and have caused problems with what you're trying to build. Is that right, Ms. Bats? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you opened this case today. Tell us why you're here. Jeffrey is a cheater. My lease is about to be up in 10 days, and I want to see when I move, am I taking him with me? Okay. Oh, okay. That's it. He's a cheater. He cheated with my friends, with anybody that come around. He cheated with our roommate. I did not cheat. I did not cheat. Yon, I did not cheat with the roommate. That is a lie. What what do you want to show her? You're here today. She has made these allegations. I want to show her that I didn't have sex with our roommate, with, with her roommate, which is her friend. That's not true. Why do you specifically believe that Mr. Wall is cheating? I sent Mr. Wall to the store one day. He was gone for hours. So I was like, oh my God, maybe something happened to my guy. Uh, nah, that go. I called his friend, and that's when I found out we was living in the same po- complex as his ex-girlfriend. <gasps> and that's probably where he was going when, he, when I sent him to the store all the time because he'd be gone for hours. No. Did you know your ex was living in the complex? Yes, she was living oh, there hold before on. he Did moved you here. know that she was living in the complex? Yes, Sean, because I figured more or less like one lives here and we live here, they're never going to see each other. Really? 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 Really. But here's the thing. Here's the real issue. It's not so much that you go into the store, but you did not tell her some critical information about this move that she would have wanted to know. And so if if we move somewhere... Yeah. I have to let you know who's in the neighborhood. Is that what you're saying? No. You just need to let me know if an ex is in the neighborhood. (laughs) But your ex is, man, I ain't worried about that. (laughs) Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I've given you no reason to worry, right? Yeah, that's it. I've given you no reason to worry. Uh, that's it. But you understand how she feels. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Miss Miss Bat- my best friend. I knew her since that's I was That's what nine. I was going to ask you about, Miss Bat. I you knew her since I was nine. Bad. I was hanging out with her. She was like, oh, everybody want a piece of me. So I didn't say nothing. I put my head down because she was like, oh, I don't know why you putting your head down. Jeffrey want to... Me too. All right, I, okay. So I'm like, what? This guy texts, they've been texting for months since we, like, they've been together for like a year, I'ma say. And he took $200 from her. Hold on, Ms. Oh, Bats. I need to hear like, the reason for these texts. Okay, her friend seen the way I was treating her. I was treating her good. We was hanging out, we was going places, and we were really? doing things, okay? Now her friend tried to get in on the back end. Oh. You let her in no. on the back end. No. You no, opened I the did door. Not, I did Ms. Bats, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did not. Her friend offered me money. I took the money on a promise that I was going to do something with the friend, but I didn't. After he took... Okay, so what were you going to do with this friend? Have sex. What did you promise? Cause after, to have sex, because after he took the money and I found out they was having sex, no. I, I, I found out they was texting. And I was like, don't do that. Like, that's real I... messed up. Like, this my friend. Like, you wildin'. He was like, oh, I'm a, I was only playing with her. All right, if you was only playing with her and I told you to stop playing with her, why are y'all still playing? No, no, yeah, uh, listen. So, Ms. Bats, only, hold, only, on, hold on, hold on. Ms. Bats, why you, y'all actually still playing? Su- you actually submitted to the court your recollection of text that you received Yes. from this woman, right? Yes. Oh. Okay. The other woman wrote, you shut up. That's why your man is in my bed now. Yes. And you responded, girl, bye. Yes. And she responds, I can give him something you never can, a baby. Oh. 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 She only saying that because I had a, I had cervical cancer and I had a hysterectomy so I can't have babies no more. And he helped me with that too. Like, that is mad crazy stuff. That's, that's kind of pretty deep. I have, that's, I that's have a deep. lot of rebuttals for this. Okay, I, I wait a, a minute. I, I, need, I need to hear, first of all, why you are texting back and forth with this woman. For months. And you, for months. Months. And you got Miss Bats. That's number one. Then number two, who takes money and think they ain't gonna have to pay for it? Okay, okay. her friend... Thank you. So, let's go. Why are you texting for months with this woman? They're a couple. Hold up, Ms. Bass. Let him I was not texting for months. It was maybe like a month. He lied. Okay. He's like, the only time, the only time I see the woman is it, the only time I see the woman is if I'm with Tamika. A lot, and we be at her house. How she give you money and you with her all the time? Okay. The money situation... The money situation... Ms. Bats. Ms. Bats, we, we want to hear from him, okay? Go ahead. Okay, how I got the money from my friend 
Tamika called me and said she had some money for me. I rushed over there to get the money. Once I At was my friend house. Once I was leaving, her friend was like, text me. I was like, for what? So when I left, I texted her and she said, How much money Tamika gave you? I said, She gave me this much. She said, Well, I'll give you some. Come back. So I was like, Wow. Well. So I got, I went back, I got the money. Ask him I what got, he did I got with the money. money. I got the money on a promise. Okay, you give me the money, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna take care of you. Let me take care of my business first. I took the money, I ran. I didn't tell her. And And what were you gonna take care of? <laughs> so you had two chances to say no. When she said, text me, you could have not texted her, but how you went on and texted part? her. Two weeks. Hold then on, when you on, texted her, she said, how much money did she give you? Come back, I'll give you, I'll give you that much. You went back. So you had two chances to say no, and you didn't. So the question is, did you sleep with this woman? No, Your Honor. But you promised to. Uh, yes, yes, Your Honor. I promised to sleep with her, but I didn't sleep with her. You think she gonna let you take her money and you not actually, what, actually fulfill your promise? He did. You think that's gonna happen? He did. I got, him, I, I, I got her already. I got he the did. money. She didn't do because nothing. Because after he took the money, they still was talking. <laughs> you wouldn't still talk to somebody if you took I their ha- money. Now, you also said, Ms. Bats, that there was a friend, and I'm presuming a roommate, rather, yes, my that friend. he's been involved with. Tell me about that. Another friend. I was at, I was at work. Okay. Her, friend is, her friend is always flirting with me when she's at work. Everybody. Her friend is always with flirting with me. You're that cute. Okay. That's right. Look how right. I look. Look how I look. Okay. All right. Come on. So Tell me I'm what at happened. Work. It's late. It's dark. I come from work. I live on the second floor. I go walking, but there's no light. So I'm like, oh, nobody's home. Nobody's there. I get inside. It's pitch dark now. The whole apartment, everybody lights is off. My door don't usually be closed, but this day it was closed. So I pushed it open and it was kind of dark. So I went walking around, but I saw like clothes on the floor. You know, like people just take their clothes off. And, right. Mm. Flip the light on. It looked like she just pure, looked like whoever it was, my, my roommate Lee, she pulled her pants down, her like boy shorts. You know mm-hmm. how you just step out the boy shorts? They yeah. right at the edge of the bed. Where she just pulled her shorts on and just climbed in the bed. I hung them over the door in the bathroom. My Never room is right by the bathroom. I'm gonna hear or see somebody say, oh, there go my shorts. Right. Oh, here she, where they was. I was looking for these. Maybe they was in the laundry. We don't do our laundry together. So, so that's how you knew it was your roommate. Yes. Underwear. And this yes. was a person that's been your friend since you were kids. Yes. She came, she she came had, and stayed no. for a visit. She came and it for became... a visit. Two women wow. living together. Two, two women living together. One woman at work, the other woman walking around like a predator. Tight shorts on. Oh. I'm not paying no attention. You get up and leave. That's, uh, but I, I, I'm not paying no attention to the woman. You would have, so you would I never even leave. flirted with the woman at all. So I don't even know how the woman got in her mind that I liked her or anything like that. I don't know nothing about no boy shorts or nothing like that. Was she flirting with you? Of course she's flirting, walking around with your tight shorts on when my girl's not there. Okay, so and you're at home. Asking me to go to the store for you and stuff like that when she's so not there. So your girlfriend's not there. Why he don't tell Hold, hold on, Ms. Ms. Bats, hold on. Because I could check Ms. Ms. when my girlfriend come back. Ms. Bats, please. So you're there with this woman. She's walking around, boy shorts on, trying to get your attention. You know she's trying to get your attention, and you don't act on it. No. Her friend is all about drama. Lee's we was all arguing about drama. every day after that. He come, oh. she come knocking on my door. Sling, stop texting me, please. <laughs> what? So, so what happened? Is she still your roommate? <laughs> no, I didn't see her in four months. We had a, like a, like a, it, it almost got into a hand altercation. That's how physical it was. It was like outrageous arguing. And he so, saying he didn't mess with her, so she going this hard for nothing. So you got into a fight, you kicked her out, you yes. haven't seen her in four months. Yes. All right, so there's your side, there's his side, and there's a roommate side, or ex-roommate side. She is here today. <laughs> Rob is cornering. She know we was coming here. You still was talking to her. Mm. All right, Miss Bats. Right. I know it's gonna be difficult. You you sit in your hands. You you're itching. I understand that. But we want to get to the answers that you came here to get. Okay. Good day, ma'am. How are you? How are you doing? All right. Would you state your name, please? My for name the court? is Lee Herrera. And you go by Lee. Lee. Yes. Okay. 
What is your relationship to Miss Tamika Bat? Um, me and Tamika were friends for a very long time, for more than over 10 years. And due to the circumstance that we got into this argument over some oh, shorts. Oh, well, yeah, sorry, language language in sorry court, that was um, found in her room. It's, it's, I feel, like I said, it's, she's insecure, very insecure person. I feel that maybe she has been, he has put her probably through a lot of stuff and that's where the altercation the argument came from but then i the way i feel about her just putting me out her house with the way everything happened was like i was not living there for free i was paying your rent and you instead of you coming to talk to me and really figuring out how the shorts got into your room or how it happened you just she kicked me out like Lee, was, what rent you was paying well, I was paying you rent. I wasn't living there for free. What kind I was of paying rent? you $500 a month. You paid That's one time. One time? One time. When I came to your house, I told you, listen, I got a situation, and I'm going to come and stay here with you. Now, don't start putting all, all the stuff that I we was not paying you. We all got situations. All right, you right. Okay. Miss, pay Miss, our Miss, look, all right. What was your relationship with Mr. Wah? None whatsoever. We didn't have no relationship. They My was relationship was with her. When I wasn't Ms. around. Miss Herrera, it, Mr. Uh, Why has testified that you were flirting with him, that you were walking around the house dressed provocatively, boy shorts, tight shirts, and so forth. What is that true that you were walking around in those type of clothing? It was only one that one day I did have boy shorts, and due to the fact that I had them shorts on, because I was ready to go to bed. It was already late at night. I was ready to go to bed. I was about to go to uh, bed. I had a tank top, and I was ready to go to bed. So you never had sexual contact None with Mr. whatsoever. Wise. You never had sexual intercourse with Mr. Yes, never. they did. No. Yes, they did. Never. She, never. she told my mother, never. oh, my God, my mother called me one day. Hey, girl, what's going on? What's up with you and your threesome? That's what? what? That is such a lie. Uh, I have no idea, but I never had I, no type of why? deals with the woman sitting on sitting next to y'all. Let me tell you. And that's why. your story. And I'm sticking to you. Uh, that is your story. Uh, he said I'm sticking to it, part. That's your testimony <laughs> today that you have never had any kind of sexual relationship with Miss Herrera. I'm positive of it. Yes, that. Your Honor. All right. Yes. I think we've heard enough testimony. And we have a relationship <laughs> on the lie. Miss Bantis said. My lease is coming up. And the question is, am I going with you or am I going by myself? Mm -hmm. And if you find out his cheating, Miss Bats, you're done. Yes, I and am. And you are going on your own. Yes, I am. All right. <laughs> to get to the bottom of all of this, the court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Patrick Coffey to determine is he cheating? Let's <laughs> talk. I can help them help him. He is. You did a polygraph examination of Mr. Waugh, is that correct? Yes, ma'am, that is correct. All right. Would you please state for the record your credentials? I'm a retired special agent with the U.S. Army Criminal Investigation Command. I did that for 20 years. Upon retirement, I opened a private investigation company and have been doing private investigations and polygraph examinations for the last 20 years. Mr. Wall was asked, since being in a relationship in January 2016 with Ms. Batts, have you had sexual intercourse with the roommate, Miss Lee. What was his response to that question? His response was no. What did the polygraph determine? The polygraph determined he was being truthful. That's only one. Mr. Y, you looking better and better. <laughs> Let us do one more question. We got one more question. Since being in a relationship with Ms. Batts in January 2016, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than your girlfriend? What was his response? Mr. Wall made an admission and said yes. What? Yes, ma'am. He admitted to having sex with three different women <gasps> on three oh. different occasions. What's going through your mind right now? So much. Talk to him. He needs to know what's rolling through there. You're a cheater. That's Give me one more chance, baby. No. I'll make it up. No. To like, Don't listen to it. You was, it's like three girls. Like, you like messy. Like, you real messy. So you're done. <laughs> you know, Miss Bat. 
You'll get to the other side of this. But what I would say to you, Miss Bats, is I'm you gotta go to the other here. side by myself and when leave, she still wanted to be my friend. I love you, girl. You know you I'm love her. You should have loved her. <laughs> go over there and be with your buddy. <laughs> you missed the wall. You know, you blew it. You did, because you sound like a good man. I mean, you were trying to help her through her health crisis. You were there when she needed you. Even if you all don't move forward together, if you're going to have any kind of relationship with anybody else, you're going to have to be in it all the way. You can't do what you were doing here. That just doesn't work. You're better than that. You can be better than that. You need to be better than that. We have counseling available for you as you all decide to move forward separately to figure out how you're going to go to the next phase of your life. Take advantage of that counseling, please, for everybody's benefit. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a happy, healthy relationship. Court is adjourned.